Wine producers Bob and Donna Holder came up with the idea at a dinner party at their Napa Valley home. They acquired an exclusive license to use Marilyn's name and image on wine and launched the first vintage in 1985. Each vintage bears a different and colorful portrait of the starlet. The combination of iconic celebrity connection of Marilyn has created the perfect commercial storm, prompting it to succeed where scores of velvet-flocked Elvis labels have failed. Not only do you have an opportunity to invest in something that will increase in value, you also have the chance to display it in your home or office for friends and business associates to admire. Marilyn has become the centerpiece of the controversial celebrity rights laws that were contested in the courts of New York and California, her two domiciles. Recent decisions have confirmed that the photographers and their heirs are the rightful owners of the images of Marilyn Monroe. The legal battles continue with California trying to create legislation to overturn the court's decision. USA Today did a good story on October 1st, and it can be accessed on their website. In either case, the publicity has created a greater interest in the general public for Marilyn Monroe memorabilia. Perhaps one of the most published images was the famous flying skirt image taken during the shooting of the seven-year itch. The photographer was Sam Shaw, who was on assignment for Life magazine at the time. His surviving son, Larry, was victorious in the New York case, determining that he had the legal rights to the pictures his dad took. The photos that really got Marilyn's career started are the famous Red Velvet series shot by Hollywood photographer Tom Kelly Sr. His surviving son, Tom Jr., was one of the winners in the California court decision. Sharing with Tom the sweetness of victory was Joshua Green. His dad, famed Hollywood photographer Milton Green, took a young Norma Jean into his house to live for almost three years. Marilyn used to babysit for Joshua. Many of Milton Green's images found their way onto the Marilyn Merlot labels, and his famous ballerina series adorns the 1994 vintage. New media partners have recently secured exclusive licensing agreements with each of the above photographer's sons to reproduce their father's images of Marilyn in various art mediums such as acrylic sculptures, fine art, and relief sculptures. These agreements became the genesis for Marilyn's latest release, My Marilyn Collection, which we believe will be well received by true lovers of Marilyn Monroe. The initial piece for the collection will be a wonderful acrylic sculpture titled My Marilyn, produced by the Meisner Gallery and Foundry in New York under the watchful eye of Tom Kelly Jr. This outstanding piece of art was created as a three-dimensional interpretation of image number six of the famed Red Velvet series. It will be an estate signed and numbered limited edition with signed certificates of authenticity by Tom Kelly Jr. Acrylic sculptures got their start when Roman Haas introduced a new material, acrylic resin in the United States. Defense contractors couldn't wait to get their hands on it as it was clear like glass, lightweight, and shatter resistant. Artists watched light bouncing off the surface and through the surface of the acrylic sculpture. By the 1970s, artist Frederick Hart attempted to cast it. Joel Meisner saw the possibilities of this new medium and quickly adapted his bronze foundry and became the pioneer of this new medium. The Meisner Foundry has been producing acrylic sculptures for the renowned Michael Wilkinson and other artists working in this new medium for the past 20 years. Today, Wilkinson sculptures sell for more than $20,000 and have increased in value continuously over the past four years. As you can imagine, due to the limited availability, we are anticipating a very high level of interest for this exclusive and most beautiful piece. As a result, should you have an interest, 
please let us know at your earliest convenience as we would truly be delighted to have you become one of the first to add my Marilyn to their collection. Next in line in my Marilyn collection will be the Shaw rendition of my Marilyn in acrylic. And it will be followed by the green ballerina sculpture. Complete details can be seen at our website, mymarilyncollection.com. Thank you so much for watching.